All right, it is time to test the skills today. Today, we're taking the Rapsodo Combine. Let's go. One eighteen. One eighteen on the number. Now we're talking. Yeah, you know, actually, one eighteen. Are you ready to put the uh, skills to the test today? I am. Today we're taking the Rapsodo Combine. This thing is pretty dope. So in Rapsodo, you've seen us use it before. Right, it's not just for long drive competitions. There's so much more. Exactly, and combines are all about challenging your game and setting a benchmark. So we're gonna tell you all about how it works in a second, but as a brief high up overview, we're each gonna be shooting at two targets. Okay. Like I said, if you use the Rapsodo enough like we do, it'll already know kind of the holes in your game based on dispersion and gapping. And it's gonna set some targets for you that challenge you. In our case, we picked two targets because it's two different golfers. We want to make sure we're firing at the same target so we have a fair okay. competition here, right? Yep, so what are we going to go with? We're going to go with 118 yards okay. and 173 yards. Okay. Those are our two targets, and we're also, as part of the combine, going to have to hit drivers. All right, so with 24 shots, I got to imagine this is a quick practice and an effective practice. It's going to be, yeah, and we're going to have a number it's going to spit out. We're going to know. We're going to see who can do better in this combine. Ooh, so there's a score at the there's end. There's a score at the end that you can use to benchmark against yourself or others, and in fact, we're gonna challenge you guys. Anybody out there who's at the Rapsodo, we're gonna want you guys to put your scores in the comments to see who can post the best score in the comments. It. I love it. All right, so let's get out there. Who wants to go first? Call rock, rock, scissors? paper, scissors? Yeah, okay, okay, right? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, you okay. got it. So you're going first. I'm going first. I'm letting him be the guinea pig. Let's All right. go. All right, so we're gonna go into play. We're gonna click combines, which is the new feature. So we're gonna go that 118 we talked about and 173, okay? We're also going to be hitting drives as well. So you ready? Okay, yeah. Good you're to ready. Go. I'm, I'm ready, sure man. you're ready. I'm stoked. He's stoked. I'm okay, stoked. let's go. So Mike's all set, and it calls out his first shot. 118 yards, gap wedge. Let's see how it goes. 113, though, pretty close on the gapping, on the distance. Just nine yards right. So that gives it a score. Now he gets a second shot again, same club, before we're going to move on to another club. Better swing, more online maybe. Yep. 28 128. Right online. Right online. This is a nice thing too about using this is that focus practice. A lot of us sometimes we get on the range, you know it, we get in a rhythm, we just keep pounding balls with the same club. This is going to force you to mix that up. So now we're moving on to two shots with his 173 number, which Mike is hitting a seven iron here to that same target. Yeah, he likes the distance, 169. You were very close on the distance, just a little bit left, four yards offline left, not bad at all. I'm impressed with the accuracy. It's pretty spot on to the target that we align, so. It is. It's, it's quick, too. You're not waiting on the feedback. Ran it a little short there. Yeah, 144, came up a little bit short. So now it's calling for drive. drives. So these drives are gonna be measured both by distance and accuracy. We're gonna be firing at the same target out there. The further you hit the ball, the more leeway the algorithm gives you left to right as far as dispersion goes. It's gonna pound out an overall accuracy number based on that algorithm. So it's all about obviously distance and staying online. We got a T change, people. He wasn't feeling it, he wasn't feeling it. T change, another driver, here we go. I like a shorter oh, that's a tee, good, Frank. Good one. He likes that short tee. It's all about that short tee. All right, so after that, we're going to do it again. So the rock, this combine will keep you moving. Mike is back to that wedge for the 118 shot. And I think one thing to think about as you see us doing this is how different does this look than your practice? You know, again, if you're somebody who gets out there, and we're guilty of it, trust me, hitting the same shot over and over again. This, we're moving through the bag, we're hitting different shots, we're hitting shots we're not comfortable with hitting, and we're measuring them. So it's really pushing outside of that comfort zone. Boom. 127, right on line. So that wedge, you know, has been performing for you. And we're quickly back to the 173 shot here. Yeah, I pushed that right. There you go. That's a nice way. crisp shot there. 174, just five yards offline. That one will, will definitely help the overall benchmark score. Okay, back to some drives. Okay, back to the 118 club. So another thing that I like too is this, if you've noticed, this is completely hands off for us. So 
it is there. We haven't interacted with it. It knows we're changing clubs. It's spitting out the distances. You can just stay in your routine and do it. You just glance back and you know it's working. It's a nice one. Let's see what we got there. Only six yards right, 124 yardage. And two, I want to point out that this combine is not something you just do one and done. It's going to spit out a number. We can change our distances, especially as your game changes and there's different distances you need to work on. But again, it's all about creating that benchmark. And then you come back later. Did you see, like, are the lessons you're taking? Is the range work you're doing? Is, are you improving from that? And the way you can measure that is the benchmark number that it's going to spit out. So this is something I would encourage you to take this combine on a regular basis as part of your practice routine. 14 yards right, 180, not bad. Uh, I got really fast there. It's gonna happen, bad shots are gonna happen. That, that should one really should good. be really good. Come on. 254, one yard right, 254 with a range ball. Take that, I'll take that all day long, I'll tell you what. So this is the last round. Remember, it's gonna take you through this four times with two shots per club per round. And again, that's what I like about this. We're constantly varying our shots here. There we go. That one looks that good. That should be pretty good. Give me the number. 118 on the number, three yards right. Mm. Feels good. good getting that in the last that's round, doesn't oh, it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So one thing to hold out for in a second we're gonna show you is gonna be the breakdown, not just the total combine score, but all of the data that this thing is gathering as we're doing it it's going to give a lot of breakdown a lot of insight into the game and, and like mike was saying where he can work on things to do better the next time i hit that pretty weak so all right on to the last set of drivers he's getting a little gas there I am a little bit you only got two more so uh leave him on the field here let me try to send this into the woods ah. yeah he's definitely leaving it all out there that one he knew that was his last shot. 254, eight yards right. Okay, and immediately it's jumping into generating your combine report. This is the moment of truth. Ugh. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I yeah. got work to do, man. Well, look at, let's look at this thing, right? Yep. So your overall score is 49.1. It is out of 100, but more importantly, sometimes it can be like, what does that number mean, right? Like right. we want it just to give us a number that we can understand. And what it's saying is for these particular numbers, you play on average to about where a 17 handicap would be. Yikes, okay. Right? So that's above your actual handicap, which tells you that this is, and you knew it, we picked these targets because they're targets that you struggle with a little bit. Yep. That's where it is. But we've got down here shot dispersion for every shot. We can see into target one. We can see into target two. Like this breakdown, Mike, is what's so incredible to me. For each target, we can see your lateral dispersion, your dispersion, your distance dispersion, your uh, overall target distance that you were hitting, and then for your driver too, we can look at dispersion. And then you got our shot breakdown for each target. So all the information is here. I've got my work cut out for me because now I know I got to try to do as well as you or better. All right, now it is Frank's turn. The range is starting to get crowded here. You're going to hear a lot of background noise, but he's dialed in. Let's go. Out of the gate with a strong start, Frank. If I distance is right, 130. 130. So only five yards off the target, though. Yeah, right? not bad. Just gonna get the distances right. 130 again. Just a little bit long, a little bit right. It's a good looking ball. That's a good number. 176. 176. Okay. 184, a little too much muscle, but you're close to that target. Only okay, five yards. Okay. Uh, hey, we're staying on line, and now the big dog comes out. Here it comes. A little bit left, little 235, left a little bit. So we're such opposites. You gotta go lower on the tee. I think I gotta raise my tee a little bit in the next round. But we're back to the 118 shot here. All right, a little right there. Trying to get a better, better distance. distance. Yeah, 119. 119, I like that. Will we push this one right? Yeah, that one's gonna hurt the score. Oh, he couldn't pull that one left. 261, but right 32. That one will hurt a little bit. There it is, smooth, silky. One thing too we should mention too is if anybody doesn't have the wrap soda and wants to do this, use our coupon code Golficity MLM. Take a hundred bucks off. Can you believe this this system for 399? Doesn't make sense. I never would have believed that a year ago, two <laughs> years ago, you'd have a launch monitor like this for that price. Right. That was me really trying to pull off the gas there. 
Now this is where you can pick up some points here. Yes, that's exactly what you need. That one will be right rough, that's for sure. Yeah, it's right rough. 263, right 34 yards. Okay, last round, right? That's it, last round. That was really smooth. Come on, baby. Be more shot. like the 118. 118 on the number. Now right we're three talking. Yards. Yeah, you know, actually 118. deserves a pound. Nice point. Now we're talking. I'm curious on what your guys' two yards would be. What are those areas of your game that you know? Do you even know them? Think about that. Do you know two yards that you struggle with right out of the gate? I really like that ball. 171, right on the number almost. Only six yards right, beauty. And if you are taking this challenge, don't get too disgruntled in your score, I'm not. First time out, I have a feeling it's only gonna improve and improve and improve, so. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it is addicting if nothing else. It, that's it. It's addicting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he went right there. Tried right to get left. a little boy out of it. 245, that one's a little bit right, but let's see. Let's see, generate. We're gonna get a number right now. This is the moment of truth. You know when like the teacher's grading your yeah, test yeah, and you're like yeah. so Just nervous? Hit the button, what do you got? It's right at my number pretty much. 13.2 handicap. Okay, 54.9. 54.9, 13.2 handicap. Like I said, I usually play anywhere between a 10 and a 12. It bounces around. So that's right on line. My biggest dispersion, no doubt, was with my driver. Distance dispersion was right about that same, that 250 mark. Just hovering back and forth with it. But left to right. So it tells me my biggest thing, get down here on the range, work on the driver a little bit. Yeah, there you go. So. It's amazing how much data. Look, I mean, here's your driving mm -hmm. overlay on the map. I still can't believe you get this for the price it's you get it for. It's crazy. So I guess I owe you a beer or something now, right? Congrats. Well, there's a bar right there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's the combine, the Rapsodo combine. We will no doubt take it again to see if we've improved. And I want to see what you guys do. So if you've got the Rapsodo, drop in the comments. Let us know your combine score. And if you don't already have it. There's a link below. Don't forget to use Golficity MLM to get $100 off. I just continue to be impressed with this device. And as these new features roll out, it just uh, makes it better and better. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed the combine.